Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonnet, the owner and creator behind Sonnet's Garden Blooms. And in today's video, you guys are gonna get a bit of spring. We are doing a thrift to treasure where I went into my stash and I pulled out a few items and we are gonna transform them into beautiful treasures. I cannot wait to hear what you guys all think. As I've been working through my stash, or some may like to call it my hoard, I thrifted these two items a while ago and I loved them because they had great bones and I'm sure that these sayings would be perfect for someone but unfortunately they did not go with my booth decor so we are going to transform those in today's video. I'm not only trying to use up all my thrifted items, I am also trying to use up any products that I have ha opened and half used. So on a recent live, I actually used uh, the page with all the beautiful eggs from Millet's Pages. And in today's video, we are gonna use the butterflies. I was inspired by a image that I saw on Pinterest and I thought it was going to be the perfect opportunity to use this transfer. My initial vision here was I wanted to paint these white. So I am using Fusion's mineral paint called Picket Fence. I'm also using the Stahlmeister paintbrush and it's the series 2012-14. I really love this paintbrush. If you guys know um, the DIY paintbrushes have a very similar one with that pointed tip. It really gets into all the details and I've been using this one for a lot of my projects. What I did here is I applied one even coat of the picket fence to both of these. Uh, very quickly though, I realized after I had the one coat down, I'm like, is this going to, you know, cover this good enough where it's going to completely block what's underneath? And I did a second coat or I started a second coat and I thought, you know, rather than doing layer and layer of coats, I decided to change my vision. And instead of using white, I decided to go with all black. Now I'm pulling out coal black, you guys. I think this would be a perfect black for this piece. And I am applying two even coats of coal black to both of these. I'm going to let them dry very thoroughly in between coats, and then we're gonna go on to the next step. Now, if you do want to try to replicate this, uh, I do have all the products that I'm using in today's video on my website, and that's www.sonnetsgarden blooms.com at this point I decide I am going to start with the largest butterflies and then I am going to work to the smallest butterflies so I'm going to just start cutting these out and laying them out on here and at first I was like should I just go with five should I go with you know more than that and I, I decided to just start cutting them out and laying them down and that's when I determined that we were going to go with seven butterflies on each of these uh, pictures now initially too I was just gonna go with laying them right on the black I thought they would look amazing and then I thought well some of them have a lot of black in them is that really the route I want to go and after I stepped back and I looked, I determined, no, I didn't want to put them just directly on the black. So we are going to add a bit of detail now. If you guys have been following me for a while, you'll know how much I love my hymnal books and my papers. I thrifted this book a while ago and I have just been pulling out hymnal sheets for all different projects. And I find having a torn edge just makes it look more natural. So what I start off doing is tearing all the edges of the hymnal paper. And at first I was just going to do uh, one piece down the center. So it would have been just three pieces. 
and I felt there was too much black and the butterflies did not cover that completely. So then I ended up going the route of having six pieces. So two um, and then I did two in the middle and then two on the top. So a total of six and I really liked the look of that. Now that I have the six papers, I don't know what I like better. Do I like the hymnal sheets or do I like the actual wording sheets? And I laid it all out and I kept looking back and forth and then I decided I was going to sleep on it overnight. So you guys, let me know in the comments which route you would have taken, the hymnal paper or the wording paper. Now, as you can see, I slept on it and I decided to go with the hymnal paper. Now that I've made that decision, let's go ahead and decoupage these down. I am using liquid patina from DIY. And this has been my go-to uh, decoupage medium for a while. So if you guys use something else, definitely stick with it. I have just found that the liquid patina works just so good with the recycled papers and the hymnal paper. So what I start doing is laying down a starter strip and I am just evenly uh, applying the liquid patina down, then laying down the hymnal paper, smoothing it out, and then working my way down. And that's what I do for the entire piece. And it just really helps eliminate a lot of the wrinkles, like I've said in the past. It also helps you really position your paper where you want it, so it gives you better control. I do that with each of the pieces as I work my way down, and this is so smooth and easy, you guys. Uh, the other key thing is to let them dry before you move on to the next step. It's completely dry. I laid out where I want it to apply all the butterflies. So I start with the largest and I position that. And if you haven't used the IOD transfers yet, you guys, they are so easy. Every transfer comes with a transfer stick. I always hold on to those even after I've used up the transfer completely. They can be used for so many different things, um, especially if you misplace your current transfer stick, you can always dig out a past one. If you can't find a transfer stick, you've misplaced it and you don't have any others, you can use a credit card or something else uh, very similar. It will work the same exact way. But I always just start on one side. I start rubbing and then I work my way over. If you do pull up your transfer and a piece of the transfer has not been applied, just lay it right back down and continue on. After that, I take my um, backing and I rub all over the transfer to completely burnish that image into your project. And then I just continue to work my way up. What I really want to do is just ensure that I have a kind of equal spacing in between each of the butterflies and um, I wanted to make sure the butterflies started off the largest and worked my way up to the smallest and um, I really love how this turned out, is turning out you guys it is so fun to see this all come together and uh, I love how there's a bit of black showing on the sides and then a lot of that hymnal paper and then the butterflies on the way up and this I think you guys has been one of my favorite projects and keep in mind that in the millets pages there are so many different sheets so you can do this with there's like um, ones with bugs on them ones with floral or like um, botanicals so you can do this with all of the different pages so don't think you just have to do it with the butterflies you can do it with any of them 
And once I get done with this, I then set this one aside and I start working on the next one. Was putting these together, I started thinking, now do I sell these as a set or should I sell them individually? And in the comments, you guys, let me know what you think. I kind of was thinking a set, but then I was also thinking someone might just want a singular of these as well. So maybe I will price it as if you buy both of them, this price. If you buy individual, it would be this price. Um, otherwise, maybe just leave it individually. I'm still a little torn. So let me know what you guys think in the comments would you buy both of them or would you buy just one um, I'm thinking like for instance if I went in there the one I would have been most drawn to was the first one because of that largest butterfly but this one too I love just as much After I got done with the butterflies, I was looking at this whole project and you guys, at first I really loved these edges. I loved that golden white stripe, but after I was looking, I'm like, it doesn't go with the whole feel of the project. So I took out my coal black again and I painted all the edges and then to finish the entire project off I don't show this on camera but I flip over the back side and I painted the back side black as well I just always like to really finish my pieces off and that is just a little extra step um, that really makes that whole piece complete The very last step in the project is you do want to seal your transfer. Even though these are going to be on the wall, I always just recommend sealing your transfer. So I am using Big Top. I'm applying just a nice even coat of Big Top to both of these. And then this project will be complete. And you guys, I love it. I love how these look. And I cannot wait to hear what you guys all think. So I hope after today's video, you've been inspired to create something beautiful for spring. Now there is going to be a part two for this video, which will be out on Friday. I, I apologize guys. I know that I typically put out a video on Friday. I did say it was going to be out on Saturday, but unfortunately life in general got in the way. My daughter had her wisdom teeth out and with everything that was happening with the snow, etc. Uh, it just got delayed, so you guys are getting it today, and then Friday will be a part two. And Thursday, I am starting my thrifting Thursday, so we're going to incorporate a bit of thrifting into the channel as well. I know that I had asked you guys, should I do like a no thrifting January? And the feedback that I got is, heck no! Everybody donates in January, so I am going to get my thrifting on and I am going to hit all the stores on Thursday. So uh, definitely be expecting something next week with all that thrifting. All right, guys. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed today's video 
and definitely stay warm if you are in an area that is in like a deep freeze like Wisconsin. We got pummeled with snow and now we're getting a ton of cold weather. I do have my jacket on, I'm in my studio. I actually had turned off the heat in here. I'm turning it back on because this place is going to get a bit of a cleaning on Wednesday. All right guys, so we will see you Friday and I hope that you join me on one of my lives this week, whether it be on Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. I have been going live on all three days. You can find me either on YouTube or over on Facebook. Well, we will see you guys Friday for the video. Definitely watch for a part two and you guys have a great week. Bye.